Okay, so you have data in a Google Sheet and you have a lot of people collaborating on it. They're really happy about working inside of Google Sheets, but you need this data inside of your Ruby application. In this video, we'll show you how to use it. We'll start in a project inside of Google's Developer Console by adding an API. We'll scroll down and hit the Google Drive API and click Enable. Once that's enabled, we'll back out to the previous screen and scroll down to add the Google Sheets API. We need to enable both for the gem that we're going to be using. Once that's done, go back to the project's root and click on Credentials. On the resulting page, click on Create Credentials and pick the Service Account Key option. On the dropdown, pick New Service Account and give this a name. I'll call mine Sheets Ruby, name it whatever you want. But what you need to do is select Project Owner for the role and leave JSON selected here in the radio buttons and click Create to download the JSON file that we'll need inside of our project. Once it's downloaded, we'll head over to the terminal where we'll add it into our project. Inside the terminal, copy that file over from your downloads folder into your project as client underscore secret dot JSON. Next, run bundle init to initialize a gem file for the project and create a spreadsheet dot RB file. Once everything's created, I'm going to open it all in a text editor. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code, but feel free to use whatever you're most comfortable with. Once here, open up the gem file, and we're going to add the Google underscore drive gem. Once you've added that to the gem file, open up your terminal and run bundle install to install the gem. Now that our gem's installed, we're done with the gem file, so go ahead and close that. And inside of spreadsheet.rb, we'll require bundler and then run bundler.require to pull in our dependencies. Next, we'll create a Google Drive session by calling Google Drive session from account key, passing in the client underscore secret dot JSON path to the file. Then we'll use the session to fetch the spreadsheet. We're gonna fetch the spreadsheet by title, but that brings up a good point. What spreadsheet are we using? I found this spreadsheet of the 116th Congress and it has a Google Sheet. You're going to want to make a copy of this, so click File, Make a Copy, and name it what you want. I'll name it Congress Data, and then click OK. This will create a copy inside of my Google Drive, so I can make edits to it. We're going to need to give our service account access to this, though, so head back to your client underscore secret JSON file and copy the email address that's listed as client underscore email. Paste it inside of the Share with Others field, and hit send. I'm gonna uncheck notify people so it doesn't try to send an email, but it'll share it with that service account. Heading back into the code, we can add Congress data as the title for our spreadsheet. Then we want to grab the first worksheet by calling spreadsheet.worksheets.first. Now that we have access to the worksheet, we can do all kinds of things with it, like read data. So we'll call worksheet.rows and return the first 10 and then iterate over each of them. Each one will be a row that contains columns. So for each row, we'll just log out the row dot first six columns and then we'll join them with a separating pipe character just for formatting. Give everything a save and head into the terminal and run bundle exec ruby spreadsheet.rb this will fetch the first 10 rows and separate their columns with pipes. Now things are a little bit out of order. If we were to reverse these, it might make a bit more sense. So if you head back here and add a dot reverse before the join, then save it and run it again, you'll see that the columns come back in the right order. Okay, excellent. So now we've seen how to read data. Let's talk about how to create data by inserting rows. We'll call our worksheet.insertRows method, and we'll tell it where we want to insert, and we'll do that at the end. So we'll call number of rows plus one. This will take an array of arrays where the inner arrays are the rows that we want to add, specifying their columns. So each column will be a string, and we'll say this was added from code. And then I'll reformat everything and add another array to add a second row that says this was also added. And then we need to call worksheet.save to commit our changes. Open up your terminal and run the bundle exec ruby spreadsheet.rb and look at the spreadsheet and scroll all the way down. You'll see that we've added two rows. Now let's change C543 here where it says added to updated so we can see how to update data inside of the spreadsheet. 
So let's replace our code here by indexing into the worksheet to C543 and changing its value to updated. Incidentally, this is also how you could read C543. If we run our code again, you'll see that C543 was updated. Now these rows don't make a whole lot of sense in a congressional data worksheet. So let's call worksheet.delete rows. The first parameter here is going to be where to start from. And we want to start deleting at 543. And then the number of rows to delete is two. Give everything a save and run the file once again. And if we head back over to the spreadsheet, you'll see that those two rows have been deleted. That's really all there is to it to working with Google Sheets inside of Ruby. I hope this helps you in your projects.